Hello, all my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your general love reading for the month of July, 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new my, to my channel, welcome. And if you've already seen my videos, welcome back. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic month so far. So uh, let's begin your love reading, <laughs> um, Taurus. Um, okay, so we have the hangman as your general energy. So I do say, Taurus, that you guys are in a bit of a limbo, I'm hearing. I hear that there's some sort of delay happening for you guys. And this could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to your career, your family, your friendship. Something is in a bit of a delay at this moment. It says getting stronger um, in oneself after a lot of deliberating and delaying in your life. So I do feel like maybe there is something that maybe you've been delaying a decision. Maybe this person has been delaying decision, but I do feel like a decision is getting ready to be made. Very soon is what I'm hearing. So something is getting ready to be decided. Okay. For some, you could have had an interview recently and maybe they're de deciding whether they want to hire you or maybe you're in the middle, you're hiring somebody and you're getting ready to decide who you want to hire. Okay. So let's get into the um, love portion of this reading, guys. If this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, that just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to ch check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs alongside with my past or future videos. Cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The rules could be vice versa. Um, also, guys, if you guys could, um, if you guys want to like this video, I greatly appreciate it. Um, you can feel free to subscribe anytime throughout this video if you vibe with me as a tarot reader. And I love seeing your comments down below. So comment down below if this reading resonates. Wow, guys. So I'm going to go over your feelings, their feelings, and overall outcome, angel guidance, um, some love messages from this person, and um, a possible date that could be significant coming into July or something that you, a significant date you had with this person. But we're going to go into your feelings now. So we have the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. I do feel here, okay. There is somebody that you are walking away from is what I'm seeing. And it could have been somebody that could have been a bit of a manipulative energy. I'm seeing, I'm seeing there was somebody you recently walked away from in the past um, that could have, you felt like they were a bit manipulative. Maybe you felt like, um, like this person would say one thing, do another. Um, there was somebody that I do feel like you walked away from, you did separate from. I do feel like there is somebody coming forward and this could be a brand new person is what I'm hearing. So you might be meeting this person in July, or this could be somebody that you are, somebody that you manifested, I'm hearing, because magician is also about manifestation, and maybe you manifested this person into your life. Um, maybe this is somebody you recently met, maybe you met this person in June or um, May. I'm also hearing maybe you met them in April, but this is a newer connection, so I'm seeing here. With the Ace of Wands, there is somebody that brings a lot of, there's a spark here between whoever you're dealing with, somebody that you feel a lot of passion with. You feel this, um, you feel like you can be yourself with this person. You feel like when you're around each other, there's just instant passion, especially with the King of Wands being here as well. Um, this could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries for some. But this person is very, um, I hear they have very energetic personality. They're also very lively, free-spirited, open-minded. If this isn't them, this could also be you. But I do feel like whoever this is, there is a spark, an instant spark between you two, instant passion. I feel like when you're around each other, I feel like the physical passion is like out of this world is what I'm hearing. You just are very attracted to one another. You feel this attraction towards each other. Like you're just, your, your energy around each other too is just very attraction, attractive. I can't speak guys. <laughs> it's like, are we still Mercury and retrograde? I think we're out of that now, but it feels like we're, we are. Um, so I do feel like there is... And there is obviously an instant attraction between you. I do feel like this could, person could be a creative soul. They might be a very, um, they might be into creative stuff. This could also be you. I do feel like somebody is into writing here. Somebody likes to write. Um, also, it could be somebody who's really into sports. Maybe you play a sport. You could be playing something that use your hands, like a baseball, basketball, softball, tennis, even, I'm hearing for some. But there is some, um, there's something about you, too, that... It's just a very magnetic connection. Like when you guys look into each other's eyes, you're not just looking into each other's eyes. Like you just, it's like almost like you guys are looking into each other's souls. <laughs> when you look into each other's eyes, it's just a very powerful connection. I do feel like there is a bit of um, fear in the back of your head um, regarding the person from the past. I almost feel like there's an energy coming through. Like you don't feel like it's quite over. I do feel like it is still in the back of your mind. 
Taurus, about the person from the past, the person that you did walk away from. I do feel like you guys, um, this person, for some, for some of you guys, this person could have walked away from you and it left no choice but for you to like walk away or to move forward. Others of you could have been that you walked away, but regardless, I do feel like it was a hard, it was a very hard decision for you guys to walk away from this person. It was very hard, whoever this was from the past, to leave behind. So for their energy, we do have the three of wands, the two of pentacles, the two of wands, and the nine of wands. So this person could definitely live at a distance from you is what I'm seeing here. Um, I do feel like there, there is, you could be traveling to meet this person for some. This could be somebody you also met online, which is why they might not live, they might live at a distance. This person um, is definitely fond of you. They're thinking a lot about you, They're thinking about everything, you know, they've been through to get to you. Um, on the card, it says travel over land, surveying your kingdom. So I do feel like this person is, they're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about traveling to you for some, if they don't live close to you, this person, maybe they want you to travel to them. But I definitely feel like this person could be definitely thinking about traveling to you. Uh, I do feel like this could be somebody you met online, somebody that, um, I'm also hearing that this could have been on the other, um, you guys could live like an ocean away from each other or a river or a body of water away from each other. Cause both of these cards have bodies of water here. So I definitely see that could be the case, but they're definitely, when I see the three of wands, I'm thinking a lot about like, this is definitely somebody that is just very thinking, thinking and analyzing the situation, figuring out how they can get to you, wondering when they'll meet you. Just wondering the, when the day will come when they can finally meet you or finally um, physically see you. For some, you have not met this person yet. Others of you could have met this person, but this just could be a long distance relationship. But maybe if you guys already met, maybe they're waiting for the next time that they can see you again because they miss you. Two of Pentacles. There's a decision that's weighing heavy on their hearts. I do feel like this person is juggling maybe between a lot of things at this time. Maybe they're busy with work. They have situations with family going on. They have a situation with friends. I'm still here. There's a lot of drama going on with their friend group at this time. Um, there is some sort of um, drama in their life happening at the time where it is a bit complicated. And maybe they've already told you about this. Maybe they're getting ready to tell you about this. Maybe they're just out in conflict with how to tell you if they haven't already told you this, Taurus. But there is a lot that they've been juggling at this time. There's a lot that they've been going through internally in their minds. And they're wondering how they can go and tell you how they're going to be able to talk to you about this and speak to you on this because they don't really know how to go about it. We also have two twos here. So there's definitely um, two for me could mean a variety of things. But for mainly it means partnership because when two people are brought together, I feel like there's magic between you two. So I do feel like when two people are brought together, this is like a partnership to me. I'm seeing when there's the threes involved, I can see like third party situation. We do have a three here, but that's not, I wouldn't consider this the third party situation card. Um, but I do feel like the two, the twos being here, I do feel like that means they want partnership back with you. They want that. They want to be a part. They want to be um, in a relationship with you. They want, they do see that long-term potential with you, especially with this two wands being here. They, they think about you all the time. They're always thinking about you, Taurus. They're always wondering how you are doing. Even if you guys aren't, say you guys aren't messaging or it's been a while since you guys message each other and, a, and you've gone like a whole day without messaging. They're wondering how your day's been. They're wondering how your week's been. They're wondering, like, they want to know everything about you too, I'm hearing. Maybe you're at the phase where you're still getting to know each other. They want to know what's your favorite color, what's your favorite animal, what's your, what's your favorite destination. They want to know these things about you because they want to know everything about you. They're just very curious about you you know they are very intrigued with this connection and they feel they do feel a connection with you even if you guys haven't met yet they still feel that connection nine of wands undecided need to take step out of the situation then you will see more clearly so i do feel like there are people in your life um that do care about you and want the best for you i feel like for some maybe people don't know about this person others that do know about them they are kind of cautious i'm hearing maybe they just they want you to make sure that this person's who they say they are is what I'm hearing. Um, Cause maybe they just don't trust the whole situation. I do feel like um, other people in your life are um, supportive of it, but I do feel like people are kind of cautious. I do feel like there's also maybe an indecision based around your family or your friends in regards to this connection, but also um, maybe in regards to something else going on. I do feel like there are a bit of delays at this time between you two. Like there's just a bit of delay. Like things are just not, you're waiting for things to get rolling. You're waiting for um, things to take off here. But I think there's just a bit of a standstill at this time. And it could be due to the distance there. That could be why there's a bit of a challenge here because there is distance between you two and it's not, 
clear, you know, like what's going to happen next. Maybe for you guys, you just aren't very, very clear what's going to happen. I do feel like this person is kind of undecided with how they want to go about this, how they want to approach you and how they want to um, make this work. Because I do feel like they want to make it work. They have the desire and want to make it work. But they're right now they're at a moment where like, how am I going to make it work? Though? What do I need to do to make this work? Because say they say they met you and they feel like you're the one that's there. Say you guys live in two different countries like they realize they're going to have to move to you or they're going to want you to move to them. And so they are kind of at this. I do feel like they're more like leading towards like moving towards you, though. But I do feel like this person like they are thinking this like a lot about it. They're like, this is a big step, you know, like. And they want to make sure that this is the connection for them. They want to make sure that this is the right connection for them and for you, since you guys do live at a distance. They, they are taking it seriously is what I'm hearing here. But I do feel like they definitely want to give this a shot and not let you go. They don't want to see you go. They don't want to see, the, um, especially maybe if you've already met this person, um, maybe you guys lived together at one point. It doesn't have to crawl, but maybe they had to move away for work or something. And they're still, I do feel like long distance here for sure, though. Um, but maybe they're just waiting it out because they do want to see you again and they do want to make a decision on how they can see you again. The six, oops, sorry. I don't know why I said sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say sorry. It's just like a crystal. Okay, so six of swords and the world. So this, the world being here. Wow, powerful connection. Like I said, distance. The world is also like this person's from, could be from another side of the world from you. But this is also indicating like a cycle is ending. Maybe for this person in their life, something has recently ended. And for you, something has recently ended. I do feel like a cycle has ended in maybe either one of your lives or both of your lives. And it could be due in regards to a relationship or a job. Something had ended recently for there to be a new beginning. I feel like whatever you're going through, there had something, an ending had to happen for a new beginning to take place. And I do think it's a beautiful new beginning between you two, especially between you two. Like there's so many new beginnings come happening for you guys, Taurus. I do feel like this connection is very worldly. It's very deep. It's very um, committed. It's very um, innocent as well. I'm hearing very playful energy. Like you just have a very innocent connection, like very um, like, I think I just like, it's just the way the connection is, it's very intuitive, it's very psychic, it's just like you guys have very deep conversations and really are curious to get to know each other, you know, everything about each other. And I do feel like this person wants to know everything about you. Six of Swords, I think you're in a point in your life where you are, for some, you could already have a family and you could just, um, you're, but you could be divorced from somebody, um, others, this could be this person. I just feel like you're at a point, Taurus, where you are... Like you are at a point where you are ready to move forward with people that you want to have in your life and you're ready to, um, you could be cutting out people at this time that you don't no longer resonate with or no longer really feel like they benefit you as a friend or as a connection any longer. And you're just kind of making decisions, I'm hearing. You're at a point in, in your life where you're just choosing to make decisions on who you want in your life and who you don't really resonate with anymore, I'm hearing. And I do feel like you are at a time where you are just, you want to move forward with this person. You want to be able to move forward with this person. You want them to be there for you during the hard times and the good times. I do feel like you are trying to move forward from whoever you were dealing with from the past. So you can um, really um, invest in this connection and really see where this can go. Because I do feel like you, you're curious about this person to see if there's something deeper there. And every day you meet, talk to this person, I do feel like there is something deeper there. I do feel like this person opens up more and more to you every single day. Okay. Let's get some angel guidance for you guys. We have trust. Okay. That's a good one. I don't see that card come out often either. Okay, and remain positive. So I do feel like let's start with trust. So I do feel like with trust, there is a need to trust the process. I do feel like, I feel that it is very hard for you guys to trust, but just trust um, your angels that there is a plan for you and that everything is going to work out in the best way for you. Maybe things are just not clear of how you want to, how you want to approach things. Maybe you don't really know for sure which direction you want to go in, but just know that, um, that the answers are there and that they will come towards you and that this, um, the answer will be very clear what you would want to do and the right decision will be there for you. Just trust the process, trust your angels. And I do feel like everything will work out. So remain positive. So maybe it's really hard. Maybe for a while you guys have been having trouble 
staying positive just because uh, maybe maybe um maybe you've had a lot of doubt and a lot of trust issues and maybe you've been abandoned you've been hurt in your life you've been you've been through so many obstacles lately that it just feels like it's really hard to be positive but just stay positive a little bit longer just keep staying positive because I do feel like whatever um you are like putting out into the world it comes right back at you so I do feel like um if you know if you are positive I feel like you will attract positivity back and that's what I believe personally but I do feel like maybe it's really hard to remain positive at this time but just know that there are good things coming your way and that um there are new opportunities coming maybe they just haven't started yet maybe this relationship hasn't even manifested yet so just you know just be um patient and just kind of just live your life day by day and just don't take life seriously and just be very um you know just try to be positive about the whole situation and just continue to live your day to the fullest no matter what the um whatever happens you know so let's see here what the love messages are for you guys from this person. Okay, what are the love messages for this person? I also see somebody could be drinking coffee or tea at this time, like someone's trying to wake up. That could be, that also, I feel like that's kind of me too. <laughs> for some reason today, I've been having trouble waking up. So it says, um, you are beautiful inside and out and I want to make this work. So this person wants you to know these messages, that you are a beautiful person inside and out. Maybe even if you don't even believe it about yourself, they want you to know that you are beautiful inside out. And they want to let you know that they want to make this work for you. They want to put the work in and see where this can go. They're willing to sacrifice things to make this work for you, um, for you too. Whether that is moving, whether that is giving you more attention and time, whether that is um, just taking more time. Yeah, like I said, taking more time out of their day to do things for you. We have concert. So for your specific or special date, maybe you're going to a concert with this person. Maybe you went to a concert in the past with this person. Maybe the concert you went to in the past, it could be both of your favorite artists or it could be this person's favorite artist. So that is interesting, but a concert, a specific concert, it's very significant for you in your love life is what I'm hearing. Wow, guys. So that's all that I have for this reading. If you guys like this, you can give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And also you can feel free to subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart um, for everything you guys have done for me and that I really appreciate, appreciate every single one of you guys out there, especially if you made it to the end of this video. I know these videos aren't short, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Bye Taurus.